Hello everyone. Well, I've returned again with a video and this time it's gonna be something completely different. Because one of my favorite channels on, the, on YouTube is this guy, Anton Petrov. He's doing all kinds of videos about space. I'll leave a link in the description. And he came out with a new revelation in science, universe without dark matter. And I think to myself, you should take a look at it if you if you'd like. Um, I think it's very interesting. And it states in this video that they simulated a universe for the first time that kind of worked partially uh, without dark matter. So that's that's uh, kind of a breakthrough. And what I was thinking is finally, because you know, the scientific model. I think the dark matter, and dark energy for that matter, is not really scientific. Why do I say that? Well, uh, it used to be like you observe something and then you build a model for that, or a calculation or whatever, and then you test this model to other things and you peer review it. It's uh, the whole science, um, uh, the way of doing science, right? And uh, with dark matter, they noticed that their model of the universe was wrong. There was something wrong with gravity and it didn't work out with galaxies. And the first time that I think what they did is unscientific is let's invent some stuff. We can't see it, we can't touch it, but the models say it should be there, so it should be there. And now they spend, well, decades and billions of dollars looking for something they couldn't see. Instead of looking at, well, are we making a mistake? Is the model wrong? Because that's what scientists used to do. They, they built a model, it didn't work, well, then the model is wrong. Except with the dark matter. So I say, finally, there are some sci scientists that will pull their head out of, well, let's, uh, let's freely translate it to pull their fingers out of the waffle iron and uh, decide like could it be possible is there a model possible where dark matter it doesn't exist finally they're starting to look in the other way and this 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 simulation is gaining some ground on the th theory that on the theory that's called Mont and he's talking about that uh, that says well maybe we don't understand gravity too well just yet so in response to this, I have decided to make a video about that because I'm very enthusiastic about what they found here because I was always pretty annoyed with scientists looking for dark matter. And I think, well, I've got my own ideas about it. I'm not a scientist. I'm just looking at it as a layman's uh, view on the situation. But yeah, who knows? Um, I don't know. Maybe I'm stupid maybe it, uh, I don't know anyway I would like to make a response video about this article here and so I move over to blender now here you have a representation of how gravity works it's not entirely correct you have a 3d sphere and this is a 2d plane in fact but uh, gravity is in every direction so this is not a correct representation but it does show how it works up to this point, if not take just take the side view here for instance, we assume that at a, over a certain distance from let's say planet Earth for instance, the gravitational effects are zero on top of this red line here, that's, that's zero, right? So what if we just uh, think it through and say like at larger distances from here you might notice um, something like this a small gravitational push like this for instance right um, that's not really noticeable within uh, the parameters of our solar systems for instance but say if this would be a black hole in the center of our galaxy um, on the outskirts of the galaxy, for instance, there might be a bit of a 
gravity that doesn't no longer just pull things together but actually pushes things outward so as if this if I select my mouse here and then duplicate scale minus one or something like this uh, mm, like so between these galaxies there might be gravitation a gravity that pushes things away when the galaxies are closer together like so they still influence each other in, in such a way that this gets flattened out a little bit more and then the effect is actually gone because they're just well basically if I take these two points and I'm gonna turn it on and I'm just pressing G you get this effect right but these these effects get lost as soon as these galaxies are moving moved further apart so that's basically my idea about well a different type of model where you actually wouldn't need any dark matter or dark energy for that matter so that's basically my idea about this thing and uh, yeah I think uh, this Mond model where this Anton Petrov speaks about could be expanded uh, into some idea like this but maybe I'm stupid, maybe I don't know, I don't know enough about it, maybe, I don't know. Just abandon the concept of dark matter and say, well, there might be something wrong with the model, let's continue and uh, look at other ways how we can solve our, observ our observations with actual proper theories rather than just inventing stuff that isn't there. From a top view, for instance like this, you have uh, our galaxy and it's supposed to be a bar galaxy this is Andromeda galaxy I, say, I think anyway if I just turn it you can see the effects of gravity here and uh, according to the current model uh, scientists says that the outer edges are turning way too fast and are much too strongly influenced by gravity in the center but you could also say that maybe um, there's a pushing effect in gravity as well at this point gravity is uh, pushing instead of pulling things together and then it might be possible that the outer ring here is actually compressed somewhat and then it might work I'm not sure so yeah basically that's uh, that's my opinion about it and uh, and that's what this model, uh, Mond model that, that Anton is talking about is also about but uh, they just uh, they negate, negate the effect that gravity might be pushing At anyway um, yeah, let me know what you think about this and uh, well, uh, I'll see you in the next video